Little Red Riding Hood. My boo, Jen Saki. And don't you worry, Joy Reid, don't you worry. You still hold a very special place in Casey's heart. Casey's got enough love to go around for both you and Jenny. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of variety, right? Jen Saki is my favorite at MSNBC in the category of natural hair. Joy Reid is my personal favorite in the category of favorite weave. It is no secret at this point, the mainstream media in this country has been corrupted. There's no such thing as honesty in the mainstream media. There's no such thing as factual reporting. You can no longer rely on the mainstream media to give you the truth. The only thing the media produces is polished turds and propaganda and conjecture. You don't have to take my word for it. KC always comes with the truth. I'm about to give you visual proof that MSNBC is nothing but propaganda. Throughout the year, MSNBC has claimed on multiple occasions that they have this responsibility to protect their audience from misinformation. Oftentimes, they outright refuse to allow Donald Trump, or oh, bad, they refuse to allow Donald Trump to speak. They'll interrupt his campaign speeches. So Rachel Maddow can tell the audience, we are not going to allow you to listen to the future president. We have a responsibility to protect you. And to be perfectly honest, we know better than you. And we know that you are not capable of forming your own opinion. We know viewers tune into MSNBC so we can tell them exactly what to think. Anytime the media is working this hard to silence someone, I always ask the same question. Why? What are they hiding from us? Why are they so intent on not exposing us to the Trumper? If Donald Trump was as bad as the media makes him out to be, wouldn't they want him to be exposed? Wouldn't they want wall-to-wall -wall coverage so we can see who we shouldn't be voting for? They do the same thing with John Biden, but for a completely different reason. The media hides John Biden because they know if you see him falling off his tricycle and speaking in a language that hasn't been invented yet, it will influence you not to vote for him. The reason they are hiding Trump, they know he is speaking on issues that most normal people care about. Last night, the Trumper, he was giving a campaign speech in Dayton, Ohio. Both Trump and Biden, they've been busy on the campaign trail. Trump is speaking in front of thousands of people. He is speaking in front of crowds that are standing room only. While Johnny B. Biden, he is speaking in front of dozens of people, most of which are paid to be there. During the speech, Donald Trump committed a serious violation of the woke commandments. Matter of fact, Donald Trump proudly violated every woke commandment. He started the rally in the most offensive way possible. He played the national anthem. Deacons at Woke United Methodist, they might have let this slide. They might have overlooked this violation if Donald Trump had balanced the scales of diversity by playing what they call the Black National Anthem. Now, obviously, that did not happen last night in Dayton, Ohio, because Donald Trump believes there's only one national anthem. But the most egregious violation of the evening, it came when Donald Trump used a painful, agonizing term. Bloodbath. That word is dangerous. Why does this man have to incite violence? When Eminem asked me, do I like violence? The answer was always no. Unless, of course, it involved peaceful protest. In that case, it's perfectly acceptable. This morning on MSNBC, Little Red Riding Hood, she reacted to the multiple violations committed by Donald Trump last night. She also gave us a very passionate lecture on context, which is ironic when you think about it. Jen Psaki is lecturing me about context while she is on live television taking Donald Trump's speech completely out of context just so she can further the media narrative. It is abundantly clear at this point the mainstream media, they are working in collusion to fabricate lies about Donald Trump. The entirety of the woke media, they are running with the same false notion that Jen Psaki helped create this morning. Here is Jen Psaki's reaction to Donald Trump's speech from last night. Now, pay close attention to the clip that she shows of Donald Trump, because here in a few minutes, I'm going to show you the same clip in its full context. Watch for yourself. <laughs> 
We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That will be the least of it. Now, the Trump team quickly said last night, nothing to see here. He was just talking about the auto industry. Consider the full context, everyone. Otherwise, it's irresponsible. Well, if they want us to consider the full context, let's do just that. Because the full context is that Trump kicked off the same exact rally by saluting the people who were convicted for the deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, all to the tune of the national anthem sung by a choir of imprisoned insurrectionists. The full context is that some of the first words out of Trump's mouth last night, same rally, were thanking those rioters and calling them patriots. The full context is that he also said in this same rally, quote, if this election isn't won, I'm not sure that you'll ever have another election in this country. Did I just hear Jen Psaki use the word rioters? Correct me if I'm wrong here. I thought the term rioters had been banned. I was under the impression that we were no longer allowed to use that terminology. Remember four years ago when thousands of mostly college kids were in the streets rioting for Black Lives Matter? I seem to remember thousands of people running into stores like Louis Vuitton and confiscating merchandise without paying. Normal people called it stealing. The media called it reparations. I also seem to remember these same rioters storming police stations, burning cops, cars, engaging in physical confrontations with police, but we were not allowed to call them rioters. No, 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 no. What happened in the summer of 2020, those were not riots. Those were peaceful protests. The participants, they weren't rioters. They were warriors fighting the good fight against mythical racism. But when it comes to describing January 6th, It is perfectly acceptable to call that a riot, which it was, but you're not allowed to call the Black Lives Matter protest riots. (laughs) Doesn't make sense to me, but what the hell do I know? I'm not a shit fuck. Jen Psaki also criticized Donald Trump for exaggerating the aftermath of the election. Trump says if he doesn't win, we will never have another election in this country. That is simply outrageous. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the mainstream media saying the exact same thing about Donald Trump if he wins? I seem to remember the media claiming that if Donald Trump wins the election, he's going to be a dictator and we will no longer have free and fair elections. So, what is the difference? The main point of contention here, though, is the Trump's use of the term bloodbath. Jen Psaki took his comments out of context and twisted them to fit her own narrative. The current media narrative about Donald Trump is that he is going to be a dangerous dictator. The insinuation here with Jen Psaki showing that clip, Donald Trump saying in his own words, if he doesn't win the election, there's going to be a bloodbath. There's going to be riots. There's going to be violence in the streets. All those Bible thumping MAGA Republicans, they're going to flood the streets with their Bibles and guns. They're going to preach about Jesus. It's going to be so dangerous. There's just one problem for MSNBC and Jen Psaki, one tiny problem. Donald Trump never said there would be a bloodbath in the streets if he doesn't get elected. The bloodbath he was talking about was in the automotive industry. You see, Trump was talking about re-implementing the tariffs on China and Mexico. He was talking about John Biden outsourcing American jobs to foreign countries. Now, unlike MSNBC, I'm not going to interrupt the Trumper here to protect you from hearing the truth. I'm going to give you the full context. Here is the full clip. Here is the full context of what Donald Trump said. Watch for yourself. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, 
And you think you're going to get that? You're going to not hire Americans and you're going to sell the cars to us now? We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. How fucking dishonest can you be? It's not like Jen Psaki was running short of time this morning. It's not like she had to edit the clip so MSNBC could cut to a commercial break. This morning, Jen Psaki led her show with this story. There was plenty of time. There was no need to edit. And even if she was running short of time, all Jen Psaki had to do was keep a couple of those toxic mouth farts to herself, and she could have shown the entirety of the clip. But we all know the reason that Jen Psaki doctored that clip. The full context of Donald Trump's remarks didn't fit the media narrative. You know, in my lifetime... I've never seen the mainstream media this relentless over a presidential candidate. 20 years ago, the mainstream media, they treated George Bush like shit. Did ya? Did ya? They were constantly making fun of him. They portrayed W as a Texas redneck. But there was still a level of respect there. 20 years ago, the media wasn't anti-American. I just don't think that's the case today. The media is doing everything they can to make sure Donald Trump doesn't win. There are no journalistic standards. There's no longer a requirement to report the truth. Right now, the media has one goal. Make sure Donald Trump doesn't win. And they seem to be willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that doesn't happen. However, the media has one major problem, and I think they know it. The mainstream media, they no longer have the influence they once had. Mainstream media, they're not nearly as powerful as they used to be. Jen Psaki averages over a million viewers for that polished turd that she produces Sundays and Mondays on MSNBC. Cable news personalities, they used to have tremendous power and influence, but... That's just no longer the case. Sure, Jen Psaki still has plenty of influence over lonely men who watch her on mute, but she doesn't have a lot of influence over normal people. Cable news isn't nearly as powerful as it used to be. More and more people are getting their news and opinions from people they can relate to. Twitter, YouTube, podcasting. Hell, Joe Rogan has more influence than anyone in cable news. Same with Elon Musk. People have more trust in YouTubers than they do in the mainstream media. And what I just showed you with Jen Psaki and MSNBC, that is the main reason why. The mainstream media, they have been exposed. In the past, they could get away with their lies and propaganda because no one else had the platform to expose them. Today, Jen Psaki goes on MSNBC and takes the Trumper completely out of context, and within seconds, she's exposed. There used to be journalistic standards in the media, even at a network like MSNBC. 15 or 20 years ago, a segment like that with Jen Psaki, that would have never happened. Back in 2009, Glenn Beck predicted that the mask would eventually come off and the mainstream media would expose themselves. They would no longer be afraid to show who they really are. That time is now. The mainstream media, they are no longer afraid of the backlash. They have no problem going on the air and outright lying to you. The only thing that matters to the mainstream media is furthering their globalist agenda. But give me your thoughts on this. Jen Psaki, MSNBC, busted lying and taking Donald Trump out of context. They make it seem like Donald Trump is calling for a bloodbath if he doesn't win the election. When the truth is, he was talking about an economic bloodbath in the automotive industry. I'm not even going to pose a question to you this evening. Just... Just give me your thoughts on this. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.